Welcome guys for the third upload today before Microsoft Fresh Conference at E3 and I'm coming with a fairy tale 100 year quest that I didn't get to because I really didn't feel like I needed to like make a uh, whatchamacallit a review about this but I guess due to the ending it sets up for something like later also I'm thinking of making One Punch Man videos, like manga review videos, so stay tuned to that because a newer chapter released. But the thing is with One Punch Man, we don't re there's not really a select schedule. It gets released whenever the author feels like it gets released, it feels like. So, anyways, we see that the group is on the train headed towards the big city of Drasil, and so they stopped... Uh, so I I think they got Urza back because it seems like uh, it seems like it's a um, a new um, like it seems like Urza is like her old self. So yeah, I apparently they got uh, rid of um, apparently they got rid of the fake Urza. Ur Urxa, I don't know, and we see that Gray walking around this town sees Juvina from Fairy Nail, and she mistakes him for Glenn, and then nah. Apparently, Juvina asks Gray on a date, and it's basically just this chapter was a bunch of nothingness and fan service, so. I mean, it's it's good on Gray's half be, uh, because it's, like, more character development for Gray. And, you know, I like character development for Gray since he's my favorite character. But uh, apparently it it opens up Gray. This chapter is opening up Gray to be taking his uh, relationship or wanting to take his relationship with Juvia more seriously, seriously, seriously. And he... Feels like the scar on Juvia was caused by him, and so he's in deep regret about it. Uh, besides the, the whole Juvenia boob, boob showing Gray her boobs things, uh, we see that Juvia Juvina was helping out Gray to gain the confidence, and I still think this is the work of the uh, Alderon, the Wood uh, Dragon God. I still feel like this is just mind magic because there's no way there would be like this this much of a resemblance like that's not like an Edelus like this just feels so it has to be the work of mind magic and I feel like the dragon god is trying to get them to like look deeper in with themselves and trying to bring out their inner emotions I that's what it feels like and it was still a bunch of nothingness and if it and it felt it felt like filler but it was it also had an element of character progression with gray and knowing what he wants and where his uh like feelings lie with juvia and as we see in the last panel and the last few panels gray is looking out the window wondering how juvia is doing and then we see juvia says long time no see gray and decided to tag along so we don't know if this is actual juvia because i don't feel like this is actual juvia because i think i remember seeing her at the guild when it got like all whited out from toka but again i feel like this is the work of aldrin Yes, this is a very quick review. There was really nothing much that happened besides, like, a date, some fan service, and Gray pondering about his feelings for Juvia. And nothing really else happened, and I can really just give it a 3.5 out of 5. I don't really give point fives, but, I mean, it's not bad. It's not... I would say it... Like, last chapter was average. Like, it wasn't bad, it was just average. Nothing really happened in it. Um, but it, nothing was stupid enough to, like, where I hated it. This had, like... I guess I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and give it a 4 four out of 5. Because, like, it, it wasn't, like, amazing wowing me. It wasn't wowing me. And it wasn't 
average to the point where, oh, this feels like it's a waste of time. It's not dumb. It's not dumb enough to where it, it warrants a two. It, it's not dumb enough to where it warrants like a two star. Like if if the chapter has like great things to it, but then it falls flat on his face, it's not dumb where it warrants it a two star. And it's not stupid, stupid like most of Urza's battles that end out in a one shot at the end, and it ends up at a one star. Or it's like just nothing happens and it just ends up at a one star and just the battle falls flat on his face and it's a one star kind of like Agnologia's battle. Um, yeah, I mean, there there was like nothing really. The only redeemable things is Juvia's here or Juvia is here and it sets off for something else and Gray got some character development. So I I'll give it the benefit of the down say is four out of five. Whatever. It was fast, uh nothing really happened, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna go. So leave a like, comment, subscribe. Yes, short. It was very short. I'm sorry. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Peace.